In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Home Designer software to plan out a basement remodel. So this year, we are taking on a really large home improvement project and we are finishing our basement. So we bought the home, um, the basement was unfinished, and we, uh, we've had the intention for several years to, to finish it off. And so we started that project by actually adding the egress, but now uh, my goal for this year is just to finish the, the whole basement. And so I submitted permits with my local township and one of the requirements for, for the township was to submit a drawing of, of, the, of the basement, of what it's gonna look like when it's finished. And it needed to be fairly detailed, so it had to show lo like locations of lighting and switches and outlets and interior walls. And so instead of using something like SketchUp, I wanted to try a different software package. And so this video, I'm going to walk you through Home Designer, and um, I'm not gonna go really in depth, so this will be sort of like a crash course on how to use it. Um, and there are other tutorials on how to use it. I'm going to show you how I used it for a, a, a very plain and simple approach. Uh, and the software is fairly inexpensive. I'll have a link in this below this video in, in the notes on which on, on a link to the um, to Amazon where I, I bought it and downloaded it. And I really thought the, the software was pretty helpful. Uh, so I'll show you my plans. I'll show you how to use it and uh, see if it's helpful to you. We'll get started. All right, so this is Home Designer Software. This is, I, I, you can check out the product at homedesignersoftware.com. And this particular product, um, Home Designer, is made by a company called Chief Architect. And this particular package is, is or this brand of Home Designer is for uh, homeowners, okay? Uh, where the other product they have by Chief Architect is actually called Chief Architect. So if you're, if you're, if you are, I guess I should say chief architect is designed for home builders and architects and remodeling professionals. That's what they say on their sites, they're remodeling professionals. So this is more of a professional level uh, software. It gives you a lot more control over your product. So if, you know, if you're just like me uh, and you're design, if you're thinking about designing something for your house, uh, then this is what you wanted to use. So if you click on their products, they have a couple different levels of home designer. And there's a couple different levels of um, uh, chief architect as well. But I think we could find like a product comparison here. Compare products. Here it is. So this is what they have. They have interior, suite, architectural, and professional. And I just ended up going with the, the $99 suite. I actually ended up using the 2017 version, I think, which is an, uh, $20 off this price. I think I paid about $80 for this. And I didn't necessarily need any of the, these are all the features of the 2018, um, uh, whatever the improvements they made between 2017 and 2018. But this is, this is what I used. Uh, I'm going to switch now and show you uh, what the software looks like starting with our room. So this is the finished design for our basement space. Um, and what I can do, this is Home Designer Suite 2017, and this is sort of a, a zoomed out version view. And so what I did was I drew the exterior, exterior walls. So you can see the foundation walls over here. And then I drew the interior walls in front of them. And then I added lights and then, uh, or receptacles on the walls over here and lights between them. And so this is what I submitted to my township as my basement remodeling plans. And uh, the plans were approved, so they didn't have any questions or concern about this stuff. Um, and so you can see the living area is 1,600 square feet. So I just measured the space out and then drew this um, one wall at a time and changed the dimensions and then added some details. Um, so I just kind of show you what this looks like. I, I added labeling, I, what the dimensions are of each room, and the name of the room. So when you come down the steps, this is just like our walkthrough I have already. So you walk down the steps and then we'll have a bathroom over here, a utility room in this area, um, a finished craft and storage room that'll be finished off. And then this, this big L-shaped space here is gonna be like, a, uh, like an open playroom living area. So we'll put a TV on the wall. And then over in this section over here will be a workshop for my uh, home improvement tools, table saw, miter saw, that sort of thing. Have some double doors on here to separate it. So um, let's go ahead and do a new set of plans. I'll select uh, default style because I don't know why I would pick anything else. 
And what we want to do is uh, start with the walls. So this upper box over here will be, um, we want a straight, in so you do exterior or interior walls. So if, if you're doing a basement, which is what we'll do, we'll do a straight interior wall and I'm gonna basically pick a spot and drag and drop, all right, to whatever dimension I want, all right? And so if I didn't like that dimension, I can, actually by double clicking on the wall, you change what it is, all right? So if I click on this, it's showing it as an exterior wall and it looks like it has some sort of siding, yeah, it's siding tax six. So that means it's, um, it's got siding, it's got a certain thickness to it. Uh, I'm gonna change this to um, what I used, was, which was, I wanna say, eight inch concrete uh, stem wall. Um, let's see, which is the exact one I use, I think was eight inch concrete. And then you can change the thickness to like 7.25, which, which is I, th I think what I did. So that'll be an exterior concrete basement wall right there. All right, if I want to change the dimension, I can just click on the dimension and I can make this, say, say 15 feet, eight inches. And then these blocks tell you which way you want it to move now that you're changing the dimension. So let's make it move to the left. I'll hit enter, um, pull it in this way. But let's do a box. So let's do a basement um, straight. We'll keep doing this. So I'm going to grab over here and you can see how it, it actually inserts itself into the wall. And so what you want to do then is you're going to need to um, mess around with, with this a little bit in terms of how it locks into a different wall. And you can see it's blue because it's, it's adding in that stucco, that uh, sided wall. So let's do, I'm just going to do this in four spots. Let's do like an L-shaped basement. All right, now I'm just going to do this. So it's over there. And then I'll close this off by doing that. So it kind of figures itself out, like it, it, it connects the corners automatically. And so I'm going to select all these walls. Uh, we'll do one at a time and I'm going to change this back to that eight inch concrete wall too, which is seven. It actually added it. Um, when I added the, uh, changed this from eight inches, it changed it. Uh, it added a second one that's already seven and a quarter. So we'll say, okay. All right. Click on this guy. Uh, we'll change this to second wall too. Okay. And I believe this is defaulted to like an eight inch high wall. All right. Okay, so now, all, now we have like a poured concrete foundation for our basement, let's say. Uh, and now it actually, it, it's showing a roof on top of that. And what we can do is we can change the view uh, by coming up here and let's see. Uh, build roof, it asks if you want a roof. Here it is, we want perspective. You can do a dollhouse. So I clicking on this camera, I, I'm gonna do perspective full overview. And so what it did is it, it dropped a roof on that because it thinks you're building, that, it thinks you're starting on the first floor. All right, so I can get out of this view by closing this. I can do dollhouse view, which shows you the interior and then you can manipulate it like this. You can change the flooring, um, the flooring materials and the flooring color. So you, it, it added footers. So what it did is it, um, if I measure from floor to ceiling here to be around eight, eight feet, uh, on the inside, the exterior will, will have added the um, necessary height for uh, to, to put it underground, so, so your footers and all that. So I'm going to close this, but this, this view is extraordinarily helpful. Um, and if you look at mine, like, so this is my plan, I still have this open. If I change this to uh, dollhouse view, this is awesome. This is why I really like this software, is I, I get a real sort of ergonomic sense of, of what this is gonna look like. So again, you come down the steps, I change the floor color. Uh, you can see the bathroom, I added a shower curtain. Uh, this will be the utility room over here. Um, all these white dots you're seeing are overhead lights that I'm gonna put in. There's our egress door, our windows. If you see these long boxes here, that's actually soffits. So I have a, a, a beam that extends in this area. 
Uh, I have ducting that runs in here, and then I have, you know, just I have to work around this beam here. So I'm adding soffits. I didn't pull the height down of the soffit to to the prop the proper depth down into the room, but um, you know I changed the wall color. Um, you can see an uninsulated area here where our garage is. I don't need to insulate that necessarily, and uh, so this is why I like this. So let's go back to um, this is my current plans. Let's go back to here, and. Let's see if I can select, I'm going to just delete that, see if I can get rid of the roof here. Um, how do we do that? There's a way to just get rid of the roof. So let me pause this and come back to that. Okay, so actually that was easier than I thought and I, I had overlooked it, but what you do is you select the roof, you come over here to what looks like a roof with a skylight, and you literally just hit delete roof. Um, cannot delete roofs while auto rebuild roofs is on. Do you wish to turn off auto rebuilds and delete roofs? Yes. Okay, great. So now if I change the view, uh, you should be able to see. It. Well, anyway, there's no there's no roof there. So now we can start building our interior walls if, so of our basement. So let's do a straight interior wall. And again, I'm going to start at this corner and work my way over here. And let's see, I wanna grab it and see if I can, I'm gonna undo that. And I found actually messing with this, it, this is sort of a challenge. Um, you can sort of build it and then click it and then move it. All right, you can move it. There it is, you just grab it like that, slide it right there, there it is. And so I want to see what the qualities of the properties of this wall are. It's a double-sided. So if you look at this image here, it's, it's a two by four wall. Uh, I know that because it's um, four and a half inches thick. So it's a half inch of drywall, three and a half inches of lumber, and, and another three and a uh, half inch of drywall. Um, and they have other interior walls you can do here, interior four, six. Um, and this is where I think you'll lose some ability with the home designer version versus the chief architect. And that is, you don't have full control, a control over the properties of this. So um, if I wanted to get a material list now for this room, it's gonna have the drywall for both sides of that wall. And I only need it for, for one side. Um, so that's kind of annoying. Um, Let's do that over here. So I, I, I'm just, you know, as a newbie of, of this software, I'm finding it's easier to draw the walls out in the room and then select them and then just sort of move them this way, right? Um, and then again, you can, change, you can change dimensions by clicking on this stuff. So that's all I'm doing here is, is um, uh, clicking on the, this wall box. And what's, what is nice about this is, is as I'm throwing this in there, you can, if I zoom in here, let me zoom in here and scroll over to this area here. You could see it actually join that for me. And that's pretty nice. Um, and I could just pull that down there. All the way to the wall. Let's go all the way to the wall. There it is. There's a little bit of a gap. But I, I think you get the idea of, of how this works for, for doing walls. So let's do, like, if I wanted to Add a, just a room, just a, a room within a room. I could draw this here, draw a wall, and then I can come over here and draw another wall here, and boom. Now I have a, I have a, like a room separating here. I can add a door. So let's see. Doors are here. We want a hinge door, and I can just drag it and put it right there. Great, now I have a door. So now let's get a... 3D view what that looks like. Uh, you come over here, perspective, dollhouse view, and there it is. There's our door. Uh, it already automatically assigned baseboards to the walls. Uh, looks pretty nice. I, I, I tell you what, I'm really impressed with how easy this is to use for visual representations. Um, if you're more of a power user, I'd recommend checking out other videos. But again, I just wanted to show you how I used it to come up with plans. So now what I can do is I can add some labeling here with a text box. I can, I can write in like finished, you know, like I think I click on that. You could type in finished uh, basement or whatever you wanted to put in here. All right, and I can add the dimension. I can, same thing, I can dimension it. There's a measuring tape. So 
um, you can click on the ruler or you can do tape measure. So if, you're, if, if after you've drawn it, you want to see uh, what interior distance you have, you can, you can just use this tool here, distance it from any point. Uh, very nice feature and more, it's just better and more suited for this type of work than SketchUp, I think. Uh, and again, I'm not a SketchUp power user and I'm certainly not a home design designer power user. Um, but I thought this software is just so nice for, for designing this stuff. You can import furniture and, and get a sense of how big a space is. Um, and again, this is our finished basement, uh, our plans. Um, and uh, I didn't use this for, to come up with a material list. I, I'm using um, just pen and paper to come up with my material list because again, I, I lack, you lack some total control with this in terms of double-sided walls. Like, you know, uh, when I went to print the material list, it, it added like uh, the, the joists for the floor above it. And so I just didn't feel like learning all of that uh, on how to really get this perfect. I just wanted to get it well enough that my wife and I could sit down and we could draw this out and sort of him and haw on room sizes and where stuff goes, but not kill ourselves with, well, this, you know, it's not printing out the right material list or whatever. So look at this though, this is awesome. You know, I mean, it's like I'm in the basement finished and, and then again, here's the workshop. Um, so cool, so cool. And everything I, we just went over in here is, is what I explained. I guess the last thing I'll show you will be Let's do uh, real quick, uh, that's this guy. We want um, physical floor pan, there it is. Okay, let's add a couple outlets. So you just click on the outlet and it's 220, 110. You put 110 someplace, you know, every 12 feet or whatever you gotta do. And it just, you just, it snaps to a wall and that's it. Now if I do the dollhouse view, it's, it already it reflects, it's already there, it added it already. You can see it's right over there. Same thing for lights. So again, if I go back here, I can click on this and do a light. I can do overhead light, so I can put a light in this closet. Um, you can snap them, you can copy and paste them. You know, this is probably the worst um, basement finishing plans that you've ever seen. But for the purposes of this, it's fine. So like, there's your light. It's a little can light, all right? Cool. So again, you can change wall. You can change wall colors. This is pretty close to the paint color we're probably going to end up using. But there's your poured concrete walls. You can make those bricks, whatever you want to do. So that is a quick tutorial, uh, a little immersion on how to use Home Designer Suite 2017 to plan your next um, basement remodel or, or home improvement.